Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll discuss about histology of mammalian thyroid gland. As you all know, thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland which is present in the neck region or in the cervical region. Thyroid gland has mainly two lobes. As you can see in this diagram, this is a left lobe of the thyroid gland and this is a right lobe of the thyroid gland. Two lobes of this gland is joined together by an interconnecting part known as isthmus. These two lobes of the thyroid gland lie lateral to the superior part of the trachea and inferior part of the larynx. That is the position of thyroid gland. As it is true with the other organ or the glands, even thyroid gland is covered by a layer of connective tissue capsule. And this connective tissue capsule sends septa or trabeculae into the parenchyma part of the thyroid gland. Parenchyma part means any tissue which is present inside the gland. So this capsule sends septa into the parenchyma part of the thyroid gland which divides it into small lobes and lobules. And these lobes and lobules consisting of tissues of the thyroid gland. The parenchyma part of the thyroid gland mainly consisting of thyroid follicle. So thyroid follicle is known as structural unit of a thyroid gland. As you can see in this diagram, these round or oval shaped structure are known as a thyroid follicle. And each thyroid follicle made up of a single layer of a simple epithelial cells known as follicular cells. These follicular cells rest on the basement membrane. So this single layer epithelial cells or follicular cells encloses a cavity known as follicular cavity. And this follicular cavity have gelatinous or gel-like substances known as colloid. So all this structure together forms a thyroid follicle. If you consider each follicular cell, each follicular cells have very large nucleus at the center of each cell. Apart from that, these cells consisting of abundant amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, microfilament, microtubules, microvilli, all those structure. So that is about the follicular cells which makes up thyroid follicle. If you consider the shape of this follicular cells, it depends on the activity of the thyroid follicle. Thyroid follicle shows three types of activity. That is the thyroid follicle which is moderately active, which is highly active and inactive thyroid follicle. So based on the activity of thyroid follicle, the shape of the follicular cells varies. We'll discuss it one by one. First one is thyroid follicle which is showing moderate activity. So in this condition, the follicular cells are cuboidal in shape. The follicular cells which encloses the cavity are cuboidal in shape in the moderately active thyroid follicle and it consisting of moderate amount of colloid in the follicular cavity. Whereas the thyroid follicle which is highly active, it shows columnar or elongate shaped follicular cells and this columnar follicular cells encloses a scanty amount of colloid or it consisting of very less amount of colloid. In the third condition where the thyroid follicles are inactive, the follicular cells are squamous or flat in shape and it encloses abundant amount of colloid in it or it has a large quantity of stored colloid in it. So shape of the follicular cells depend on the activity of the thyroid follicle. So individual thyroid gland can have all the three types of thyroid follicle that is Thyroid follicle which is moderately active, which is highly active and which is inactive. So individual thyroid gland can have all the three types of thyroid follicle. So that is about the thyroid follicle which is a structural unit of thyroid gland. These follicular cells which makes of the thyroid follicle, it secretes two types of hormones that is triiodothyronin which is also known as T3 and tetraiodothyronin which is also known as T4 or thyroxine. This triiodothyronin as a name indicates it has three atoms of iron in it whereas tetraiodothyronin as a name indicates it has four iodine atom in it. So these are the hormones which is secreted by the follicular cells which makes up thyroid follicle. 
In between this thyroid follicle, as you can see in this diagram, it has a connective tissue stroma. So it is obvious that the connective tissue will be having blood vessels, lymphatics and nerve vessels. So apart from that, this interfollicular connective tissue which is present between the thyroid follicle has a specialized cell known as parafollicular cell. So parafollicular cells are the specialized cell which is present in the interfollicular connective tissue. These parafollicular cells may also be present between the basement membrane and the follicular cell which makes up the thyroid follicle. These parafollicular cells also known as C cells or clear cells or light cells. And these parafollicular cells comparatively it is larger than the follicular cells with the eccentrically positioned nucleus. And obviously it also has abundant amount of Golgi complex, microfilaments, microtubules, mitochondria etc. in it. And the function of this parafollicular cell is production of thyrocalcitonin or calcitonin. The function of this thyrocalcitonin or calcitonin is when the calcium level in the serum or blood is high, it lowers the calcium level by suppressing the release of calcium from the bone. So that is all about the parafollicular cells. So these are the two types of cell which is present in the thyroid gland that is follicular cells which releases T3 and T4 hormone that maintains the rate of metabolism of the body and parafollicular cells which releases thyrocalcitonin. So that is all about histology of thyroid gland. I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.